Hey, you guys. It's Mr. Ashby again. Uh, we are going to be talking about rules for social studies this afternoon. And I know that rules can kind of bum you out, but hoping that maybe you'll understand them a little bit better. So check this out. Let's say um, we were going to be pushing. In class, I might have kids come and act that out, like, Hugh! and push somebody down. Some questions you, you might ask are like, why was this wrong? Why was this wrong? Why was it wrong to push someone, right? Another question that's really important is, was this an accident or was it on purpose? Well, let's talk about that for a little bit. In this picture, you can pretty much tell it's on purpose, right? This dude looks kind of angry. He's got two hands shoved out. Um, and, and why was this wrong? Well, you can hurt the other person, right? I mean, you could probably think of reasons why it's wrong. I'm going to share a little video with you, though, that shows something a little bit different. Check this out. There isn't any sound in the video, but watch this little girl running. Little boy running. Uh-oh. Boom! Oh, no! They're, they crashed. Did you see that? And they're crying. Now, here's the thing. Those little kids got hurt. Whoops. Those little kids got hurt, and that was sad. Let me see if I can find that. Those little kids got hurt, and that was sad. And she was even crying. Did you see that? Let's see if I can skip to that part. Yeah, look at those two. They're they're crying. That's sad, right? I mean, just like in this picture. This guy is very unhappy. His body is going to get hurt, right? It's not safe. But the big difference is the video, those kids ran, they ran into each other on accident. Let's watch that video again. I'll skip it to about here. Here we go. Little girl's running. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but you know it was on accident. Both of their heads were down. So it, they didn't mean to hurt each other, right? And that's a big difference, doing something on purpose or on accident. Ugh, those poor kids. I feel bad for them. Well, here's the deal. If something's on accident, it's as simple as saying, oh, man, I hope you're okay. I'm sorry. I don't want you to be hurt. But if something's on purpose, well, that's where we have a little bit of problem. You know, if an adult went and pushed another adult like that or hurt someone like that, we would call that breaking the law. The word law is a fancy word for rules. When kids do something like that, we call it, you know, breaking the rules. And that's our job is to teach kids to learn to follow the rules. But the big question is, why do we even have rules? Well, um, a little bit later, like when we do our Zoom, we're going to be coming up with a list of rules. So we'll talk a little bit more about that later. But I want you to first just think about this. Fairness. Is it fair or not fair? Here's an example. Cutting in line. Right? This person here is cutting people in line. Is that fair or not fair? Well, hopefully you would say that is unfair. It is unfair. Right? Well, how are we going to solve that problem? Usually. One of these people who is nearby, they would tell that person, hey, please stop. Hey, you cut in line. And it is okay to, to tell someone when they're being unfair. It's okay to tell someone. What's not okay is to maybe hurt someone if you're mad, right? But it is certainly okay to tell someone when you're upset, when they've done something unfair. And that leads me to this word called Justice. You might want to say that with me. Say it. Justice. Justice is not exactly like being fair, but like if this guy here cuts in line, you might want justice if you're these people here who are waiting in line. That means that you want the problem to be made right. It might take the teacher to come over and hold that boy's hand and Tell them, no, you got to go to the back of the line. That would be justice. That would be making it right. What about this? 
Ben was talking while the teacher was talking. Oh, Ben. Now, is that fair or not fair? Well, I think most people would say that that is not fair, right? Well, who is it not fair to? It's not fair to maybe the other kids in class. Now, in our case, we're on Zoom, right? And if people are talking and not listening, it's not all that fair, right? It's not fair to the other kids who are listening and who are being respectful. Check this one out. Mary keeps running when she was tagged during freeze tag. Hey, wait a minute. During freeze tag, you're supposed to stop and freeze. Is that fair or not fair? Well, that's not fair. She's not playing by the rules, right? Everybody else is playing by the rules. That is not fair. This one says, Sam got birthday presents at his birthday party, but Teddy did not get any toys. So in this case, maybe this is Sam and it's his birthday. And of course, he's going to get some presents, right? But maybe Teddy, maybe Teddy is over here. Is Teddy going to get presents? No, it's not his birthday. Is that fair or is that not fair? Well, you might be surprised to learn that that is actually fair. If it's not your birthday, then you really don't get birthday presents. That's fair. You know, it would not be fair. It would not be fair if it was your birthday and you got a bunch of presents. Well, that would not be fair. So being fair is not the same as being nice. It's really not. Being nice and being fair can be very different. Check this one out. Ben raced Kim across the playground and lost. So here's Kim winning the race. Here's Ben and he lost the race. The question is, is that fair or is that not fair? Well, really that's fair, right? We don't always win. We don't win games. We don't win races. We don't win playing soccer sometimes. We don't win um, when we play football or other sports, right? We do not always win, and that's fair. You know what would not be fair? It would not be fair if Ben said he won the race even though he didn't, right? That would not be fair. In this case, she won, and that's fair. And he lost, and that's fair, and that's okay. And then the last one I have is this. Only boys get to eat lunch. So here's this dude. He's super happy eating some lunch, but look at her. Oh, I feel sad for her. Is that fair or is that not fair? Well, I think you probably figured it out. That is not fair. That's not fair. Well, why is that not fair? Well, because the rules about eating lunch and letting people eat lunch, they should apply to everyone. So if we're going to have lunch, then we should let everyone eat lunch. And if it's not lunchtime right now, then it's not lunchtime, and that's okay too. And maybe it's not time to eat. I hope that makes a little bit of sense um, about fairness. Uh, one of the reasons we have rules is about fairness. I'm going to finish by going back to um, this one. And in our case, it's on Zoom, but this one is about, you know, in class, talking while someone else is talking. Well, that's really not fair, right? We need to make sure that we're allowing um, people who raise their hands to talk um, one at a time, not interrupting. We want to make sure that we're being fair. And um, in that case, it is kind of like being nice. Not always, but in this case, it is. Now, you have a little bit of a job to do, okay? You've watched this video. I came up with a few ideas of like not cutting in line, not talking while the teacher's talking. Those are some ideas to get your head thinking about some rules. What I'd like you to do is grab a blank sheet of paper. And if you don't have one, you could use your writing journal, that's fine, or another notebook. But what you're gonna do is draw, and you can use colors if you want to, it's up to you. You're gonna draw and maybe color a picture of a rule. If you want to, you could make a, a pick some pictures of a bunch of rules. Maybe you can think of 
five rules and you could draw a picture of five rules, that's totally fine. You're gonna draw a picture of someone either following the rules or you could draw a picture of someone breaking the rules, that would be fine. In our Zoom, that happens in a little while, at the end of the day, we're gonna share some of these pictures and we're gonna make a big list of like all the rules that we can think of. So that's what we're gonna do then. So go ahead and um, get your paper, draw some rules. You can draw people breaking rules, you can draw people following rules, and then you'll be ready for our Zoom at the end of the day.